Good morning. It's a cool morning this morning. It's uh, 30s-ish. Uh, not the best day for working, but not too, too bad here in the shop. It's pretty windy out. I was going to shoot a little bit of coverage, and I'm going to have to shoot some of this series outside just because I'm not dragging a whole car in here to show you that. But most of this series I can shoot here in the shop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, try something a little different. Uh, and all of these introductions are going to be exactly the same because I'm going to use this introduction for all of the series. But we're going to cover miscellaneous things, motor mounts, transmission bell housings and or transmissions. Uh, let's see, we're going to go with uh, four-speed transmissions between A, B, C, E body. Uh, we're going to go over K-frames the similarities and differences between big block and small block. So basically I'm going to do a little mini series on big block and small block and the differences of the different parts you're going to need if you go from a small block to big block or vice versa. A lot of guys are switching over from small blocks to big blocks and even a few a few crazy people that might want to go the other way. But so a lot of times not knowing will end up spending money where you don't have to. I've had a guy call me up He's all excited because he bought this transmission at a great deal for a small block. And he didn't want it for 440. He had no idea that there was a difference between the big and the small block. So I'm going to do this little mini series and I'm going to do little bitsy ones, little short ones on each item. And that way y'all don't have to waste a lot of time watching, you know, 45 minutes of video if all you care about is what the difference between the motor mounts is. So I'll do a bunch of mini series and then I'm series? Is that, is that a word? Series? Well anyway. Uh, and that way you can just tune into whichever one you want. But I'm also going to do one long one, which is going to cover all of these things, the transmissions and the motor mounts and the, you know, bell houses and, you know, K-frames and all that stuff. So that way you can watch the whole thing at once instead of having to tune into each mini-series. Uh, so it can go either way, either way. Okay? So I'm going to stop talking now because nobody really wants to hear me talk. You guys just want to know what's what, right? So here we go. Uh, we're going to start with, doesn't really matter, does it? But we're probably going to start with the differences on the four-speed transmissions between A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Of course, F, yeah, F and A are the same. So anyway, <laughs> there's a million different. Well, just tune in. Is 727 and or 904? It's going to be the same. Big block and or small block. I don't believe they put 904s behind big blocks. Anyway, so we're just going to cover the 727. All right. The easiest way to tell. And for quick reference, obviously, is right here, these two top bolts. If you look, the big block, seven, just about, let's see, right about seven inches. If you look at the small block, it's about eight, okay? So my easiest way of referencing it is my hand, okay? I will take my hand, and I can touch both of course, it depends how big your hand is, but I can touch both of these. I can cover both of these holes with my fingertips, okay, on the big block. On the small block, uh, I can't. That's the best I can get it. It's like almost quite. So I know when I'm going to a swap meet, I don't have to carry a tape measure. I just take my hand. And if I can cover both holes with my fingertips, well, thumb and finger, then I know I've got a, a big block. If I can't, then I know I've got a small block. It's a nice quick reference on your transmissions to know if you've got a big block or a small block transmission. And uh, that's probably the easiest way to tell. Of course, you can always carry a tape measure. And it was 7 inches on the big block, 8 inches on the small block. That's it's almost too easy, right? i got to come up with something more complex than that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, and I don't know... If there's anything else, but if I can think of it, we'll cover some more stuff. You covered all the things I wanted to cover. You can look at each individual video on one component, or you can watch the finale one that covers all the different uh, applications, if you will. So, sorry about the sniffling and the hat and, uh, you know, the gloves. And, but it's kind of cold out here. Uh, hopefully, spring will come quickly, and that'll be that. We can get back to getting... Doing the fun stuff that, you know, freeze to death while you're working. Uh, yeah, I'm a sissy. Don't like the cold. But I'm actually kind of cozy and warm right now, but it's hard to work with gloves. Yeah, you know? So anyway, thank you for watching. Do me a favor and subscribe. Y'all are awesome.